Oh yeah, I am gonna need a lot of this. Oh yeah, I could eat a lot of that sauce. Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Barcelona, Spain. Woke up this morning and packed all the bags. We are getting ready to leave, but before we head out, we're gonna head downstairs to have a quick breakfast. This is exactly what I am looking for. I could not leave Barcelona without some more jamón. One last breakfast dosage. Oh, this is a pile of the jamón. Look at how beautiful it is. It's so good. And then these are some other types of Iberico pork. This one is particularly good. It's very lean. This one, this type of chorizo is also really good. Good morning. Good morning. It's just wonderful. And I also really like this, this chorizo. Just mm. a hint of a spice to it. That was a good breakfast, and we just checked out of Cotton House Hotel. It's a really nice boutique hotel in Barcelona, and it's in a really good location. That was a very nice stay. We're walking over to the metro and heading to the airport. 45 minutes later, we have arrived at the airport. It's about 8.30 a.m. Barcelona has been fantastic. This is really an amazing city to visit. Lots of delicious food and some amazing architecture as well, and I love the cafe culture here. But we are catching a flight with TAP Portugal on our way to Lisbon. somewhere in the sky and we are flying across just across the Iberian Peninsula from Barcelona to Lisbon Portugal and they just served us a little snack I almost thought it was an egg on the bottom but I think that's bread a little open-faced sandwich I think there are two layers of meat on here and then with rocket on the top. And there's something sweet on the top too. I ate that whole sandwich and I was thinking the whole time that it was turkey. But now that I think about it, I think it was actually fish. Got a good nap in. We should be landing in Portugal in about 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed at Berto Delgado Airport in Lisbon. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the fastened seatbelt sign is finished. That was about an hour and a half flight. Welcome to Lisbon. Bus number one will go to uh, Avenida de Libertad? Yes, we okay. stop there. We have decided to take the bus into the city because that's the most direct. I think it will be the easiest way. And so they have a stand outside. This is for Aero Bus. We're taking bus number one. Got this long receipt. That is our ticket. Took a little while because the traffic was heavy, but we just got off our bus stop at Avenida da Libertad, and our hotel should be just across the street. We are staying at the Fonte Cruz Lisboa, which is uh, another hotel by Marriott, and this is in a very lovely area of town. A lot of 
Uh, looks like a shopping street with a lot of high-end designer brands. We checked in, but our room is not ready, so it's, they said it's gonna be ready in about an hour, so we're gonna hang out for a little bit and do some research. As we are waiting for our room to finish being cleaned, we decided to take, they offered us this uh, welcome plate of fruit, and so we decided to eat it. Now, I think it was supposed to be served in the room, but I think this is a good time to eat it right now. A mango, orange, kiwi, and, well, kiwi. I don't think I've had a mango yet on this trip. Mmm. That's a good mango. What is our room number? Oh, six, zero, five. See down there, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of dark. It's a little bit of a dark theme. Oh. And with that, it's back to training. Okay, welcome to our hotel in Lisbon. Before we do anything else, let me give you a quick tour of the hotel room. This is the bathroom. Everything is kind of a dark theme. Toilet. Oh, and a, and a chest. And then out to the main bedroom. It's a pretty spacious room. Kind of has a, an antique feel to it, but a dark theme. A relaxed chair. Whoa, a full body mirror. We are off now to walk around and explore and hopefully find something to eat. But I wanted to just quickly share that this is my first time to be in Portugal and I'm really excited to be here because I've been to a lot of countries from uh, Kenya and the east coast of Africa to Sri Lanka to even Thailand that have been... Oh, it's a really loud motorcycle. Uh, but I've been to so many countries that have been influenced by Portugal and also, the Portuguese are responsible for distributing and for, for um, bringing chilies from South America to Asia. Chilies being one of my favorite foods in the world, so I'm excited to be here. This tree-lined avenue is absolutely beautiful. very hungry so we came to this restaurant that's very close to our hotel and it's also very close to a couple of attractions that I want to visit this afternoon so we are stopping here for a quick lunch and this restaurant is called Bon Jaradim. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Ying and I decided to each get a half a chicken, and so we got the chicken, we got some rice, and I also ordered a vegetable spinach dish as well. I'll put this half a chicken. Oh. Put this onto my plate. Oh yeah. And, okay, I just gotta taste this. Let me just taste this immediately. is salty a little bit oily and then the chicken is really really soft but what I really want to try here is the piri piri chili and there's this is quite a like an oily chili sauce with a little paintbrush in it and add on some of that sauce I'm not sure if, are you supposed to touch it Just a little bit spicy, but it has a nice sour chili oil flavor to it. I'm gonna need a lot of this. And I wanna scoop out those seeds, the, the seeds from the bottom. Oh yeah, I could eat a lot of that sauce. And then this is some kind of a rice fried with I think it's chicken, something from the chicken. Maybe, could it be the, the gizzard and the liver maybe fried with rice? Oh, that's a good, that's a nice ratio though. 
Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I saw it in, it said arroz brasileria, I think, on the menu. Mm. Yeah, I think that's rice fried with liver and maybe some other organs. Mostly liver, I think. That gives it, uh, the rice a creamy, irony component to it. And also got some creamed spinach. And this is the dish that I just saw on the menu and I wanted to try. Whoa, that is very tasty. Oh, very tasty. It's almost like dough. Wow. That's very sticky. And like, it's like a sticky whipped cream almost of spinach. And it's very thick and dense. You can taste the green spinach flavor. It's a little bit salty, uh, but it's mostly just all about that spinach and then a really, yeah, like doughy, sticky texture to it. Wow, that's, that's, this could be filling because it's so densely sticky. And I think it's all right to just brush your chicken with a piri piri. We finished with that lunch. The chicken was good. Felt great to eat an entire half of chicken as well. Get that protein in the system. We were both really hungry and nice to sit out here. It's a great day. The breeze in Lisbon is fantastic. And also I'm liking these cobblestone streets in Lisbon. Actually, I'm not sure what type of stone they are, but they are so silky and so like smooth. You can actually just scoot and you slide as well. Right across from where we ate lunch, we are walking now over to Ascensor de Gloria. This is a Lisbon historical landmark and originally the Gloria Funicular opened in 1885, but back then it worked on a, it was powered by a water counterweight system. And so what's really awesome is that the Gloria Funicular is still open to the public for rides and we are boarding now and about to head up the hill. We waited until the tram was pretty full, it's pretty stuffed right now, and we are on our way now up the hill. a short just about three minute ride but I think it's more about the history of this funicular than the actual transportation and there were some nice views of the of some beautiful painted murals on the wall as well okay that was fun from the top of the funicular there is a park with a viewpoint so we're gonna get a good hopefully a good panoramic view of Lisbon from here The cool breeze, great views of Lisbon, and I'm glad we came here on our first day, actually just, just a couple hours after we landed in Lisbon. This gives me a good idea of the city and some of the landmarks. I can see the, the castle in the distance, the ocean. Um, yeah, nice viewpoint, nice place to just hang out.
I am just stepping into the church and it is elaborate on the inside. There are, there's the main sanctuary, which is a huge open space, but then on the sides, there are all sorts of different chapels and altars. And then you look up at that ceiling, it is decorated and painted with a mural. And then while I'm walking on the floor, it is ancient looking marble. The fourth chapel on the left-hand side is considered to be one of the most expensive chapels in the world. It includes gold and silver and lapis lazuli and it was actually designed in Rome. And then in the back is a Baroque style painting. Just spent a few minutes walking around Igreja de São Roque and this is a church in a Jesuit church in Lisbon that dates back to the 16th century. It's known to have a very simple facade on the outside and look very simple on the outside but when you step inside it's just full of gold, it's elaborate and it's known for its riches. And there's lobster in the window there too. Oh, I need to eat some seafood very soon in Lisbon. Uh, but I, this is just an amazing city. It has a wonderful artistic feel to it. And I'm loving the wind and the views of the city. We are in an area of town now called Barrio Alto. So I think we're just gonna walk around this area. This is a fantastic area of Lisbon. And although it hasn't been very long since lunch, I think we might try to have dinner and then head back to the hotel. We're just walking around leisurely, not really looking for anything, but I just found a cafe that I wanted to check out, so I think now would be a perfect time to have a quick cup of coffee. I don't know if I should really mean to sit there. I was originally just gonna stand at the bar and just have a quick cup of coffee, but we decided to sit down at this empty table. This is a real legendary, a historic coffee shop in Lisbon. As soon as I could get the attention of the waiter, I just ordered a coffee. Okay, that is good coffee. Mm. Mm. Strong, but smooth. Not too thick. I might have to have one more. These wooden chairs and tables are absolute classics as well. And the mirrors on the walls, the decorations, the chandeliers. Okay, I had to order another one. Oh, that's hot, really hot, right out of the machine. Oh, wonderful. Those were two well-spent euros, two good cups of coffee. This is a, a legendary classic place. We came to a restaurant which is right in this area. It's called Taberna da Rua des Flores. And this restaurant, I didn't realize at lunchtime they serve more of a Portuguese menu, and then at dinner it's kind of a modern, um, kind of uh, modern style of Portuguese food. But it's a really cozy little restaurant, very friendly service, and you can sense the passion of the food in this place. And so they just have a daily set menu which is according to season and according to what ingredients are available. Starting off with some olives, and I've already had a couple of them. 
those are fantastic olives. Salty and sour and have a fantastic texture to them as well. They're like a little bit silkier than other olives I've had. The lighting in here is pretty dim, so I'm gonna have to use my cell phone to, hide, to light up the food when I take a bite. The first dish that we got, this one is a ceviche of, I think the fish is croak with, I'm not sure what's on top, some kind of pickles and then surrounded by sweet potato chips. Oh, this looks fantastic. Oh. Oh no, some of the chips just slid off. Let me take a piece of the fish and try to get some of that pickle at the same time. It's sour. Those cubes of raw fish are just slightly cooked on the edges from that, that acidity. And then it has just a very light garnish of cilantro maybe. Oh man. Yeah. I love it. ceviche is just or any type of fish, or raw fish, is fantastic. And that is, you can taste the freshness of the fish, and the quality, and just and just how beautiful the dish is as well. I'm gonna grab some of these little chips on the side. Mm. They're crispy, but they've soaked up some of that lemon juice. <laughs> The next dish we have is marlin, and this has been, I think, pan seared, and then it looks like Thai um, sweet and sour sauce. I think it's just seared on the inside and a little bit, a little bit, it might be a little bit pink on the inside, which is why you need to cut it with a knife. And that fish is extraordinary. It's soft and buttery. If you can taste the different textures in the middle, it's raw. But then on the outside edges, it is cooked and it almost has a chicken breast texture to it on the outside, but buttery all the way through. They suggested that we had three dishes between the two of us and then they served one dish by one dish. So we've had two dishes so far and now we are on our third dish. This is black pork and they're little cubes of pork which look marvelous, little nuggets, glistening nuggets. And then there are onions on top and some cilantro and a lemon wedge on top. But let me just taste, oh, that piece right, right there. It looks kind of crispy and soft at the same time. Wow. Oh yeah, that is exactly correct. It is crispy and soft at the same time. Crispy on the edges, it's salty, and then because it is quite well marbled with some fat mixed in, it is so juicy. And just, when you bite down, you get that crispy caramelized pork edge, and then just that fatty juice. Wow, that's insane. And then I love it with those red onions, the cilantro. I'm gonna squeeze on a little bit of lemon. Wow, that's a, that is a treat, a treat indeed. That is insane. Ying and I just finished with dinner and I have to tell you that when I was going to this restaurant, I was, I was hoping to have an authentic Portuguese dinner, but when we got here, then they said that in, at lunchtime they serve Portuguese dishes, but at dinner time they serve Portuguese ingredients, but with a modern twist. And it turned out to be an exceptionally good meal. The ingredients were incredible. The different dishes that they put together were simple, but the ingredients were, were outrageously good. Delicious food. That was kind of a trendy meal, but it was really, really good. So if you come for lunch, you can get more of the, the Portuguese dishes, but at, at dinner, it's a special seasonal menu of the ingredients they have. I think this is the perfect place to end today's vlog. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also make sure you subscribe for lots more food videos and I'll see you on the next video.